Hello, I'm going to show you how to do the jigsaw strategy in action using Google Slides and Zoom. So I have my screen shared now, and here is our completed Google Slideshow with the article that we have um, divided up into three different reading levels and placed on these Google Slides we've seen in the previous video. So each of these slides represents a different reading level in one, two, and three. And you can see here, they correspond with different groups. So when you begin with your students, first go over the directions of the task with the students. And for this specific task, we are asking students to annotate the main idea of the article in green and the key details in yellow. So what you can do is discuss the directions and then model to your students for about three to five minutes, and then be sure to show them, you know, how do they do those annotations? So make sure you show them how to click on the slide itself and click on the annotation guide, green and yellow for what we're doing today. Also, if it's a different type of activity where maybe you want them to paraphrase or comment, you show them how to comment on the Google Slides and they can paraphrase or summarize what um, that segment of slides are about. So just want you to think about that there. So when it's time after you model the instructions and model how to uh, complete that activity as a scaffold, what you will do is you'll go to um, breakout rooms. So you'll create the breakout rooms and you can either tell the students um, what group that they're going to be in. So if you can let the uh, participants uh, choose the room. So maybe you have another slide that shows the list of students' names and where they're going to go, or you can just assign manually to what um, slides you want them to go to. So group one would go to slide number one, the slides that say number one on the top. Group two would go on to the slides that say two, and group three would go on to the slides that say three. So that's essentially um, what you would do. And you would create the breakout rooms. And what I like to do at that point is then share, make sure you can share that link with everyone. And you're gonna plop that in the chat, um, you know, right before they're uh, sent to those breakout rooms, you put in the chat and it will um, go from there. And, Pretty much you give them you know a time frame to complete the activity and a possible follow-up um, thing for them to do if they finish early as a group and then you can say we're going to come back and answer some questions or further talk about this article i hope this helps you um, incorporate the jigsaw uh, strategy into your class using google slides and zooms